Hi, I'm Stacy and I'm a registered dietitian. I'm Elizabeth. We're co-founders from eatingforbreastfeeding.com. Today we're here to talk about vitamin D and the latest recommendations. We're going to talk about why you're probably not getting enough vitamin D and why it's so important for breastfeeding moms to make sure they are getting enough. And last, we're going to talk about some easy and quick ways to make sure you do get enough vitamin D in your diet. So first I'm going to start off by telling you you're doing a wonderful thing for your child. Breastfeeding is not always the easiest, but it is definitely the best choice you can make. That's for sure. And vitamin D lately has been an extremely hot topic. We're hearing about a lot on the news, it's on the internet, and the latest recommendations say we're not getting enough. Stacy, why is it so important for breastfeeding moms to make sure they're getting enough? Vitamin D is so important because not only is it a vitamin, but it's also a hormone. So the number one role for um, vitamin D to do is it helps absorb calcium. So with that said, it helps decrease the risk of osteoporosis for mom. Um, there's some new research that shows that vitamin D also decreases the risk of heart disease, cancer, and helps a boost immune system. So for a baby, obviously having a stronger immune system will help decrease the risks of different types of infections and illnesses. But number one thing for baby is it helps decrease the risk of rickets, which rickets is the weakening of bones, so they could have bowing of the legs and different structural abnormalities from not being able to absorb enough calcium. So as just an average person, I have a healthy, you know, semi-healthy diet, am I getting enough vitamin D? The, actually, the Institute of Medicine just increased the recommendation for how much vitamin D you should get in your diet. So it went from 400 to 600 international units for pregnant and breastfeeding moms. Um, so that extra 200 international units would be equivalent to drinking an extra two cups of milk, whether it's cow's milk or um, soy milk. Um, but also, to get 600 international units in the diet, you would have to eat four ounces of salmon every day, drink six cups of milk. Um, you can also get some vitamin D from different food sources such as your eggs and cheeses, but Per serving, you're only going to get about 25 units or less of vitamin D. So it's not necessarily easy to make sure that we're eating enough vitamin D each day. Right. But there is another option. It is called the Sun Vitamin. The Sun obviously has harmful effects, but it has some benefits too. And spending a little bit of time out in the Sun can give our bodies what we need as well, right? Right. Um, it's, studies have shown that 10 to 15 minutes of direct sunlight can give you an adequate amount of vitamin D. It can be made by your body. Um, and the direct sunlight would be without sunscreen, so you just have to be very careful as far as getting your vitamin D from the sunlight. Really limiting that time out right. there to absorb the vitamin D but not harming our bodies exactly. in other ways. That's a problem though for our infants. We might be getting enough vitamin D by our sun exposure, but infants under six months old are not supposed to be exposed to direct sunlight, so they're not going to get it from the sun. They're solely going to get it from us. Right. So if I'm getting enough vitamin D each day, am I passing it on through my breast milk to my baby? It's a really good question and actually the answer to that is no, but there's a very simple way that you can make sure your baby's getting enough vitamin D. We're going to tell you that simple way in part two of this video. We're also going to cover the possibility of taking too much vitamin D and we're going to cover prenatal vitamins and whether or not they've got you covered. So we'll see you in part two of this video.